get wrecked for recovery crew. So I'm here in Port Townsend. Uh, sorry that the video ended kind of spontaneously yesterday. Uh, there wasn't much else that I could do when I got to camp. Uh, I got to the place where the ferry uh, leaves from, which is called Fort Casey. And uh, there was a campground right across the way. I was super hungry, super tired, a lot of hills yesterday. And so when I got over to um, Fort Casey, I sat down and ate and noticed the campground and I rode my bicycle over there. And uh, when I pulled up, um, I asked them, you know, I said, how much is, uh, you know, the, the campsite for a, a bicyclist? And they said, $12. I said, oh man, all right, well, uh, you know, don't have it right now. I'm just gonna, I guess I'll go ahead and, um, you know, find somewhere else to sleep tonight. And a guy overheard me talking and he said, here, look, here's $5 toward, you know, what you're doing. Thank you for what you're doing. And so, um, I was like, no problem. Thank you so much. And so then as I was uh, receiving the $5, there were two other cyclists there and they offered uh, to pay for my campsite for the night. So uh, one of the cyclists, her name was Lauren and the other cyclist, his name was Cormac. And so um, we ended up, uh, Cormac went off to get $12 from the ATM. And so while we're standing there, Lauren and I are talking and uh, a lady with an RV site walks over and she's like, hey, look, y'all are welcome to stay on our site. And uh, her name was uh, Lori and her husband was named Dave. And so uh, I'm so thankful for that. But so the three of us ended up being able to camp uh, together as cyclists out on the road. And so they're going on a neat journey. Um, uh, Cormac is actually leaving and going from uh, the Pacific coast around the world. Um, so I think he's 27 years old and he is just about to experience an awesome, awesome trip. But he gave me a lot of insight on uh, the trails that I'll be facing and those kind of things in this part of the world. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. Uh, and so it was just so good to sit down and talk with them. So I didn't do much filming last night, uh, which is why the video ended abruptly. This morning I got up and got on the ferry, as you just saw. And uh, now I'm here at the... Uh, Blue Moose Cafe, and it is a nice little spot here in uh, Port Townsend. Uh, Cormac actually recommended it to me. They're letting me charge my batteries uh, for my phone and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, really cool, nice little place. Uh, good breakfast. I had a bagel and some coffee. And I'm about to get started on the Olympic Discovery Trail. So, this trail is an old railroad path um, that goes all the way from Port Townsend to the Pacific Coast. And so I'm gonna follow that for the next couple of days uh, past the uh, Mount Olympus, uh, through the Olympic mountain range. And uh, I've got the drone, uh, so I'm gonna send it up and take some, some you know, aerial shots of that as I get the opportunity to do so. So while I was sitting here eating breakfast, a lady started speaking to me, asking me about the bicycle. And so she had done bicycle touring, and she actually in 2015 rode from uh, San Diego to Florida and so she was giving me some kind of tips and, and you know things to look out for as I go uh, across mountains really for the first time and several other things that were just really beneficial and then they offered to buy my breakfast so thank you so very much uh, I love the trail magic that happens out here I love that God is providing the way that he is um, and I'm so thankful for everybody who's helped participate in uh, keeping this thing going you know each day I pray for uh, uh, someone who uh, has lost a loved one uh, to drug addiction and all day is committed to prayer for them um, you know and so it's just that's what this is all about it's uh, you know to, to memorialize the people that we've lost our friends that we've lost to the scourge of drug addiction and to you know just kind of bring awareness that recovery options are available that you don't have to die in your addiction and so uh, that's the whole goal the whole focus the whole reason I'm out here meeting the people that I'm meeting and uh, I'm just so thankful it uh, it's much warmer today I'm excited about that <laughs> it was cold yesterday but the Sun's coming out and it is beautiful out here so um, other than that as for now I love you guys and I'll see you later
right, so for those of you that are cycling the northern tier, when you get over to the Olympic Discovery Trail, as you're coming down the back roads, you may run up on a woman named Maureen picking strawberries in her garden. And she may offer you those strawberries. And if she does, take them. They are amazing. I want to say the best strawberries I've ever had in my life, and I'm not adding hyperbole. However, if the same Maureen says, hey, you should go down that hill right there and go check out Troll Haven. Anybody who comes to this four-way is always asking, where's Troll Haven? Do not take her advice. It was 174 feet down and 334 feet up out of there just to get back to almost the same place that I was. So, unless you're really, really, really into trolls, I would say call that one off. I love Maureen to death though. We talked for 20 minutes. Those strawberries were amazing. Just won't ever go to Troll Haven again. Anyway, love you guys. See you later.